Howdy guys. Today we're not talking about why my bike hasn't started yet, but rather what all this stuff is doing in my driveway. All right, first off, we've got our kettle here, or otherwise this one is known as a kegel because it's a keg. Give me a keg of beer. Stainless, 15 gallons. Easy to do as a homebrewer to build one of these. You've got a ball valve there. And then I've got little volume lines written and a really good thing to be using for homebrewing. Next up, we've got the mash tun. These are $60 a load. It's pretty easy to build. And it's job, it holds all of our grain in it with the false filter bottom. And we just put that in there for about an hour and leave it. And that does all of our sacrification. Next, we've got a hot liquor tank right here. This holds all the hot water used in the sparging process. And together, that makes a three vessel brew house system. So this is what the three vessel brew house system looks like in a little schematic for you. So we've got the hot liquor tank that flows to the mash tun and then flows into the boil kettle. Some breweries have this laid out a little differently, but this is how all the big guys do it. I just do it on a smaller scale with what I got. I only have like $3 and 50 cents, so it's hard. So let's talk about the mash tun here. We've got a sparge arm, which I made with coat hangers and zip ties and a bunch of parts. And it sprinkles water over it and then we drain it out here at the same rate called laudering through the screen and into the kettle and then we've got our burner here we're doing the boil so we're about to add our second addition of hops to this and that is pretty much it when it comes to a three vessel brew system for a homebrewer so we'll do some videos on how to make some of this stuff later but thanks for watching